A blessed day to you, dear friends. May today's gospel help us grasp the true meaning of obedience as Jesus taught us. This is Sister Rejoy for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The heart of the law is love. It has been given to Israel to guide a nation in responding lovingly to God to whom they belong as a covenant partner. Their loving response would take the form of trustful obedience. But the history of Israel as recorded in the Bible is marked by infidelity and disobedience. St. Paul reflects on the predicament of a typical Jew who delights in the law but experiences oneself as powerless to obey. God Himself offers the solution to this predicament. In the fullness of time, God sends His Son born under the law. Jesus offers the perfect, loving obedience that Israel cannot as He fulfills His mission even to the point of death. The death of Jesus becomes precisely the empowerment that not only Israel but all human beings need in order to respond to God in love. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, by your obedience unto death, you have taught us that to obey is to love. Thank you for offering your life to empower us to obey. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have full knowledge of every person, of our national problems and their causes, and you know the longings of our hearts. Lord, in the coming election, help us know and examine the track record and qualifications of candidates. Enlighten us to elect the right public servants to address our national problems and may they invite public participation in the process. Lord, in the face of election anomalies like vote buying and the use of government funds to campaign, enable us to speak out the truth and act accordingly as upright citizens and practicing Christians, so we can witness in words and actions the faith of 500 years you have gifted to our country. Amen. Amen. 